one and only Octobotom is coming at you with another video review. And welcome to Turtles Week. On today's episode, thanks to the absolutely incredible support of all of my Octobotomist Plus channel members, we're going to be taking a look at the new NECA Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimate April O'Neil. Now, what a lot of people were really looking forward to because April is an iconic and essential character to the whole Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle universe. And when NECA teased being able to finally do this figure, they utilized the actual actress. She came on to like some of their Instagram live shows. I, I, I'm terrible with names, but I think it's like Judith Hogue or something like that. And they talked about how they're finally going to be able to give us an April O'Neil figure to go with those movie turtles. And in addition to doing this ultimate April O'Neil, they did a special signature version as well. Which came with an extra accessory, that being her yellow raincoat and an actual autograph of Judith Hogue. Again, if I'm saying that name wrong, I am absolutely sorry. Now that signature edition sold out as fast as it takes for you to hear that noise like with all NECA Ninja Turtle figures there's a huge demand for these and that one went astronomically quick the only one that I was able to get is the regular version I actually got two because uh collector you know whatever but starting off first with the packaging I love what they did here you have this full-on lenticular front section here which is very reminiscent of that scene in the movie where April is being watched on multiple televisions by Shredder. And as you can see, as you move it around, each of these screens change. You got some like static right there, and then you move it over, and boom, there she is. Same thing like with the top. All of it is really very cool, and really does make me happy that I got two of these, because it'll be a nice sort of package to hold on to. Uh, the side here has images of her up close, her uh, pullback body image. Come around to the back, you got the four turtles that are there. Again, some more product shots. And then you have a, a bit of a read-up right there. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right there. And then you can come around. Well, you got that on that side. And then you can open it up. And then, you get again, you got a nice product shot right there. And then the action figure. And there is a lot to be said uh, about this. For a figure that was as hyped up as this was, there is a considerable amount of criticism for this piece. And I will try to touch on it as much as possible. And I know that I gripe with NECA quite often. This was fairly easy to get, and it was done through their pre-order system, which worked out pretty good. So I can't really criticize them for that. Granted, I would have loved to have gotten that signature one, but I don't have any of the signatures of the turtles or anything, so I guess it wouldn't have made much sense to just have one signature. And so while, yeah, I, I do kind of gripe about some of the things that they do, they did make this fairly easy to get. The problem, though, in my personal opinion, this was completely half-assed. And... <laughs> You know, I, I used to review a lot of NECA stuff for NECA. I started being a little bit critical, and they have stopped sending me stuff uh, a long time ago. This is full-on honest opinion slash review slash rant. So stay tuned if you like all that kind of stuff. But there's just so much about this figure that really, w with all the hype that we got, was a bit of a letdown. Uh, Packaging-wise, I think it looks terrific. Like I said, I love that whole lenticular sort of aspect. That's really cool. I, I don't think you can really remove that. That's, like, stuck on there. So it's not like you can really do anything with it. Um, and, uh, of, course, of course, it's got the whole, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Ultimate April O'Neil thing right down there. So it's not really like that you could use that as a display of sorts. But, uh... Packaging, top-notch. I love what they did with it. But for the packaging, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get her out here and see how cool she actually is. All right, guys, so here we have April O'Neil open up and out of her packaging. And this, this is a tough one. I honestly do not know where I sit with this figure. There are some really good things with it, but then there's some that just don't work starting off first with uh, her accessories as you can see she does come with a pair of uh, fairly relaxed hands there 
She also does come with a right and left fisted hand. Uh, let's see here. Uh, designed to hold weapons or even the uh, microphone. You can see that looks really good if it'll focus for me. There we go. Uh, you can see that they even have like her little ring sculpted and painted under. That's really sharp. I like that. And then you also do get a uh, just regular fist and then a pointing finger for her to point at you. So you do have that. Uh, she does come with her side. Well, not really her side. This is Raphael's side. The problem, though, that I have with this, number one, is you can see one is longer than the other. Um, this is Raphael's. This is hers. Uh, you can also see a difference in terms of the paint, whereas this is a much more silver paint. This is a little bit more dulled down. Also, you can see that the new version has a blacker color if i keep it in frame right there you can see that let me see if i can zoom in with the light there a little bit better you can see that uh the new one that she comes with is like a black wrap whereas this one is a very dirty dark brown but it is noticeable that bothers me uh because this is supposed to be Raphael Sai. Uh, the, I don't understand why the length is different. Uh, coloring, you know, that it is what it is, I guess. I mean, I, I do like the more dirty, down, grungy look of this one. This is just like black wraps and then a really nice silver. So again, it's nice. Nothing wrong with it. Other than the fact that it doesn't match with one that he came with before. So there's that. She comes with her handbag, which is what... Actually, uh, she kept this in. This looks really nice. A really good, very beautiful pattern on there, which really nicely captures kind of like that carpet bag sort of look. Uh, you can open it. It is sculpted in a way where it kind of closes, but you can open it. And there is a uh, gap in there, and uh, it's painted all the way through, which looks really good. And then you can take uh, the side, and you can put that in there. It doesn't sit in there very well. just kind of like sits there because it's so long i wonder if this would actually work better let me see if that works a little bit better that, that works a little bit better and i'm noticing like a whole bunch of like let me just angle the camera down here all this all this is paint kind of um from this being opened so it's like oh I don't know. I mean, that all is from this. So, I, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's definitely like flake. That whole thing. That's all flaking. Um, yeah. All right. It is what it is. Uh, so, the handbag was decent until I started touching it. Um... I don't know. That's that's a weird thing. I, I don't know why that's the case. But you, you could see that uh, in terms of fitting this in there, it's not the best. It, it just kind of sits there, which is fine. But it doesn't really get all the way in there to really hide very well. So there's that. Uh, she does come with this. And again, this, this is kind of weird. The, the They're like pizza boxes. Uh, and you can kind of see that, but it's almost like they're microwave pizza boxes because they're smaller than a normal pizza box would be. Um, let's let's just bring in Raph. I mean, you can see how tiny that is by comparison. So it's like they're those microwave pizzas. I don't necessarily remember seeing this in the film. Uh, it's all just one molded piece. This is pretty decent. Uh, I, I just... Like I said, I, I don't really remember it all that much, but great detail still all the way around it, except for the bottom. But uh, there's that. Uh, she also does come with a uh, Channel 3 microphone, which is fine. You got a nice, uh, flexible wire down here. It doesn't attach anything. Uh, problem with mine, though, is it's crooked. Uh, but you can totally see that the actual the top section here is bent. And that's fairly lame i think not uh not the biggest fan of that 
yeah it's just that's not cool and it just keeps wanting to change the focus that's i'm not happy with that at really at all that that's kind of lame for the most part but you get that uh you also do get a stand which is going to be very handy because of some of the qc issues that i have with her uh in general it's nice because as you can see she is wearing heels so you just got the uh, holes here just peg that on there she also does come with an alternate portrait which this looks great uh she's kind of smiling in it uh if i come in you can see that she's got a uh, nice smile on her face of sorts but her eyes are a little bit more wide open and shocked looking the likeness, I think, looks fine. Uh, uh, people have complained about it. I don't mind at all. The hair is big. It's very 80s. I don't like this giant gash that they have going on in the hair, though, so that you can see her earring in there. Um, that just looks weird. Uh, and the other one has it as well. So you can see just like this gash of hair going there. So... Accessory wise, she comes with a good amount. Uh, it is an ultimate figure, so you would expect more accessories to come with her. Uh, figure wise, though, in general, again, I think it looks pretty decent. Uh, the the portrait is what it is. Uh, this is, like I said, it's a little bit more of a neutral sort of look where hers has more of a smile. Her eyes do look a little bit more kind of shocked of sorts. Great detail with the paint and the different brooches and things. You got like the uh, buttons and everything. You can see that her uh, shirt actually does a pretty decent job of matching kind of like the pattern that she was uh, carrying around on, on her bag. So that's kind of neat. Um, in general, in general, it's it's a very nice figure. It, it looks really good. You got a softer vest section here. The skirt is softer, but it is fairly tight. So that will kind of limit some of the articulation for the most part, but not an overly extreme amount i suppose a lot of really nice painted elements in here the sculpt looks good in general i'm happy with it it's this that i have a problem with and i'll tell you why i have a problem with that because every other figure for the most part they have done either painting or molded pieces of those joints like here is Raphael. you can see that his joints are painted green so it matches um, I have zero idea why they did not mold these connecting joints in the color of this. Because that looks ugly. Even when you look down here, that does not look good at all. Now, I know people are going to be like, oh, yeah, but Paul, how many times do you display your figure from the back? Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be from the back. Uh, you can see that if you're looking at it from a side, the side, you can kind of see what's going on. But the point is, why stop there they put so much detail and let's bring in casey jones i mean they molded that i mean that's pretty decent with with all that kind of stuff and i'll bring all in those figures here in a bit for the size comparisons it's just that really does bother me and that's exactly how it was out of the package i did not bend the joint i'm doing it now but uh, i did not bend that at all to get any paint to fall off of it that is exactly how it was when i took it out of the clamshell or took it out of the box and it was still in the clamshell that's just gross and then you can see that the other problem i have is she's got two right legs um or at least two right feet uh either way makes this one kind of like bulge out and you can see that it's bent as well so i mean i could probably fix that but that like, bulb right there just kind of she looks like she's got a broken ankle i mean QC is a problem that NECA always has an issue with. So that, you, you know, it is what it is with that. I, mean, I got a display stand that I can prop her up with, so I'm okay with it. But something like that, that is a design choice. They chose not to mold this connecting bit in the color that it needed to be. And there's no excuse for it because they molded these joints up here in the purplish color that that is they're just like oh well let's just paint it um i don't know did they're like oh you know maybe we can't afford to do that because or mold it in that color because of whatever reason then then fine don't give us this head i, I mean you didn't give us like other heads before i mean you did in terms of like accessory packs just don't don't, don't even give us this take that away and make color matching 
pegs there. That's just completely inexcusable, if you ask me. And, you know, let's be honest. Why do you even need... And those knee joints are ugly. <laughs> that, those are ugly-ass knees. I mean, that is not a good-looking knee. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, that is not a good-looking knee joint. I mean, this... Uh, you got one single joint there. I don't know why they needed to do double joints for her. Um, honestly, I, I, th there's so many design choices with this that I just don't get. Uh, mostly because her legs are stuck. You know, you can move them forward and back. You're not going to get a ton of articulation or, or poses with her having double joints. There, so why do that? Makes no sense. Um, in my mind it, it really really does not and you, you just cause more problems than you needed uh, articulation wise otherwise is uh, pretty decent uh, the hair does kind of get in the way but it's fairly soft so you can move it around but you have a nice ball joint right there and then you just pull that head off and you put the useless head on there but I mean she's smiling I guess okay so there's that the shoulders move in and out they rotate freely you have a nice range of motion there. You do have a double joint here at the elbow, and the uh, upper one does have a rotation. Does the bottom one? Oh, the bottom one does as well. So you have the double joint right there, and then you do have the rotation at both of them. You have a hinge forward and back at the wrist, also a swivel. You do have a ball joint, it feels like, at the, the waist area, so you can kind of move that around. And then again, you got the uh, in and out. I mean, that's as far as it's going to go because of the skirt forward and back. About yay far, uh, does it rotate? Feels like it rotates up there. You do have the two bends at the knee, which again, that looks ugly. Uh, you do have the ankle, but again, mine, because I have two either wrong legs. I can't tell because like I said, this kind of bends out a little bit more. Um, I mean, that one kind of does. So I'm, I'm thinking it's mostly just the actual uh, foot itself. Um, so, I, I, like, I, like I said at the beginning, I feel like the, the figure is half-assed. Uh, half good, half bad. But when, when you do a half good, half bad figure, then it just comes across as all bad, uh, I feel. I mean, it's, it, it's definitely something that I think is problematic with NECA in terms of QC stuff. Uh, but now, it, now it's a whole separate thing with, like, the design choice of it. And this is... An iconic character. I mean, it's April O'Neil. We we need to have April to go along with our turtles. And it just doesn't fit well. Uh, for a comparison with those, here we have Raphael, as I was showing uh, earlier. And then, of course, another human. Here we have Casey Jones. So the scale-wise, I think, is really well done. Uh, they should be a little bit shorter. It works, I think. Uh, she's middle of the road. He's a little bit taller, obviously. So... I don't know. It's definitely one of those things where, like I said, I feel like half is good, half is bad. It's just, I'm, I'm torn because you need to have April O'Neil in your collection. And this is what they gave us. It's not that it's bad. I just feel like some of the stuff was just phoned in and not done as well as the other figures. The KC figure is fantastic. We are getting a new one of that as well with an unhelmeted or unmasked portrait, which is going to be cool. The turtles all are... Every other figure is great. April, though, I just, like I said, feel like it was just phoned in. Uh, now, while it was originally released as a pre-order through their website, it is not exclusive anywhere. So, people don't freak out. It is sold out on their website, but it is going to be a Walmart exclusive. The movie figures all are. So, eventually, it will be hitting various Walmart stores... So don't go crazy paying astronomical prices. Just be a little bit patient. It'll show up. And I think the general negative criticism uh, like that, uh, which is common with everybody's, it's not just mine. I think it's going to make some people really kind of be turned off to this. And for the most part, most people are going to just want, you know, the Turtles or Casey or something. So I feel like April may not be one that is very hard to find. But who knows? Time will tell. But uh, beyond that, guys... That's about it. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you would do one very simple thing for me. And that's just to hit that thumbs up button. Believe it or not, that one very small gesture really does go a long way towards helping me out. And I would really very much appreciate it. 
I also have to send a huge shout out to all of my Optibotomist Plus channel members who through their continued contributions continue to help to make reviews like this and many others possible. And if you'd like information on how you can help support my channel by becoming a channel member, where you can get exclusive channel chat and comment emojis, loyalty badges, access to the Optibonimus Plus only Discord, early access to video reviews, exclusive unboxing videos, live streams, Zoom calls, as well as the occasional giveaways like all of these guys do, then please consider becoming a member of Optibonimus Plus. And for that, all you have to do is click on that little join button right down there. Finally, guys, remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you all for watching and taking the time to be a kid.